it's Amanda and Hazel. I just recently got in the mail the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. Yeah, Masquerade palette, and this is the mini version. I ordered a smaller one because I was like, how often do you ever use up a whole eyeshadow? Let's open her up. It's kind of an overview there. These feel almost like the the wetness from a ColourPop shadow. Like I'm wearing this, no, not that one. I'm wearing this brown like, under my eyes and in my crease, or this one in my crease. Let me just swatch them and then I'll say what I feel so far, like my first impressions. This is a silk dress, so don't want to get anything on it. Start with Chi. So Chi is a really pretty royal blue color with a nice sheen to it. Ooh. Next we'll go into Makita. Oh my. Right. Giza? Giza? I don't want to mispronounce anything, but I'm sorry if I do. Dahia. Really pretty gold color. So there's, whoop, there's the first row. Just one swipe. Okay. Next we have Molly. Maui. Oh my gosh. It's... Zobo is a matte cranberry color and see it the mats are more dry so they don't it doesn't swatch as well but they apply really nicely on the eyes then we have burkina which is kind of a i would say it's a neutral brown and then zulu at the bottom is a more reddish brown and this one feels creamier more like a, that terracotta kind of color. But again, it just doesn't swatch as great. So this is Dahlia. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. Crazy. Calabar right here. Like that. Running out of room on my arm. That swatches beautifully. And we have Cairo. A pretty orangey kind of tone. And it has some gold glitters in it. It's Casablanca. It's like a nice bronzy shade. This one's really creamy. Really like whoa pigment. One more row. Now we have Zola. But look at that. It's just crazy crazy. That is my favorite. Then we have this hot pink color called Bori. Woo. Swatch is really sheer. Then we have this kind of dark mahogany brown, I guess, called Ada. Ada. Again, swatch is very sheer. And then last but not least, we have Fulani. More of a, mm, it's more of a cool brown. As you could tell from those swatches, the mattes just don't swatch that well. They feel more dry. The the shimmer shades, like all these metallic colors, especially these are just super creamy and just, they feel wet almost. You know, I mean, it's just packed with pigment. But with these really bright colors, it's nice to get that color immediately. You don't have to pack it on, it's just there. You don't have to build it up, you don't need to use a base, you just get the true color. I would definitely recommend it. With the free shipping and the discount code, I paid like $22 and change for this, which I think is very worth it. For 16 colors that are really, really pretty and unique that I don't already have in my collection. I ordered it Friday night, late Friday night. It shipped out Saturday morning and I had it by Monday. 
So that's really awesome because a lot of places don't even ship it out until a week later and they're just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Anyways, yeah, I, I really like it. I'm excited to play with it more. I like that you get really bright colors and then the warm tones like the pinks and the cranberries and then so you got some oranges here, bronze, brown pretty much have everything you could need. I'm definitely open to ordering again from them, especially with their super fast shipping. That's my review for the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. Thank you for watching. Bye! So I just... <coughs> I'm gonna wipe my fangies off. Okay. <laughs>